Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Hey, um, so I've been meaning to talk to you for a while now, and I haven't really got the opportunity. The rumors you've been hearing around the city, they're true. I will want you back. Uh, hopefully we can talk about this maybe over dinner <laughs> or coffee or something. But yeah, I'm, I realize I've missed the best love I've ever had, and I want to try again. I was, just, I was just running and I obviously, and I look to the corner of my eye and I see this guy chasing me. Hello. Dude, he's like a little puppy running out to me. It was so cute. Hey, buddy. Hello, handsome. Look at this guy's coming too. Look at these guys. Okay, well, they're busy. Tell me, Tendio, what you doing? You look like a freaking. You look like Sid the Sloth. <laughs> the audio I'm gonna talk real loud because I brought a mic because I was planning on filming this in the fucking car but the mic died so hopefully the audio isn't horrible I am driving a car from the 70s so the past few days I've been feeling like my flesh is frozen and my bones are hollow I'm just I think it's the weather because I'm doing really well honestly like mentally and stuff I'm not doing bad it's just I've just been so tired and lazy and unmotivated and unproductive why are you trying to like get away from me <laughs> hello but I woke up today relatively early couldn't couldn't get out of bed so it's like 12 right now it's noon and Leo and I are going for a hike kind of I don't know I don't know I'm in shock. I just got here and fucking Leo. My dog's name is Leo, as most of you know. Just started shitting on the ground. <laughs> He's fucking crazy. He does stuff like this all the fucking time. The second he <laughs> we got out the car, he just started shit. He like crouched down and started shitting on the ground. <laughs> he is crazy. Who does that? Leo, you're weird. <laughs> you're fucking weird. That's like some jackass shit. <laughs> For real. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? 
Go! Go, go, go! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I just read like Kitty and Varenka. First of all, those names. Like you don't name your daughter Varenka being like, yeah, she's gonna grow up and like marry a man. <laughs> Needless to say, I am enjoying this. <laughs> it lost me 150 to 200. I was like fully lost. I will not DNF this. I won't. I just simply won't. It is something that I will conquer no matter what, but I was very close to like gouging my eyes out. I also yesterday started The End of Everything, Astrophysically Speaking, by Katie Mack. Katie Mack is a cosmologist and she is explaining different ways that the world will end or the universe will end. It's a lot about like particle physics, which I first learned about hmm, a couple months ago when I listened to the Dark Matter episode on ologies. And then after that, I read the Three Body Problem series, just this little series. And the first one especially uh, is a lot about particle physics and just how little we know about it. I mean, the plot, not to spoil anything, this isn't spoiling nothing. The whole catalyst for the story is our lack of understanding of particle physics. And then actually in that ologies episode that I listened to, they talked about this book and I got it and I'm finally getting around to reading it. And it's so... <laughs> it is so scary. The universe scares the f out of me. It is so daunting. I think what's so scary about it is like there's so much that we don't know and within this book, a non-fiction contemporary book, there's a lot of the times where she's like, we don't know. Like we don't know why the universe continues to expand. We don't know how this works. We don't know how that works, but we've got theories that I can tell you about. <laughs> So those are the two things that I'm currently reading, but I also need to start Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. This is for the book club, Priority of Sean, Lincoln Bio. What is today? I think it's the 22nd. So I need to finish this by the end of the month. So I'd like to start it today, but we'll see. It's already almost five o'clock and I have a video to edit. I filmed a video for my Patreon a couple days ago that I've yet to edit. I said a couple months ago in here that I was going to react to my old videos because I have videos that I posted on this channel when I was like 15 that I've since privated. It would be really bad if those were still public. But I said that I would film a video reacting to those videos and it essentially exposing myself <laughs> and post them to my Patreon like months ago. But October and September were just difficult months and I was not able to get around to doing that, but I did it and I need to edit it tonight and post it on there. I think I was maybe only able to react to like, maybe like seven and I have <laughs> like 150 videos. I think I'm gonna turn into like a little series over there. I'm not putting them onto YouTube. That is too embarrassing. I also used to film a lot of videos in high school with friends. So those videos are there, but I'm not reacting to those because that's not cool. So, but I have a lot of videos that are just me. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to finish the chapter I'm on here, edit that video, and then see if I can get a bit more reading done. And that should be today.
I was about to leave and then I realized I never touched the ocean. Who's that? Who's that looking so stoic? Oh, bombastic side eye. <laughs> you see that meme on TikTok? The audio on TikTok. Bombastic side eye. You see that? <laughs> I feel like a mommy. I feel like a mommy vlogger. Like I'm literally extorting. Ex <laughs> extorting. I think that's what <laughs> I'm exploiting him for money. Am I exploiting you for money? Perform, Leo. Perform. You'll get fifteen percent when you turn eighteen. <sighs> oh. oh God, I. Ow. I have not been sleeping for the past couple of days. For a couple of different reasons. One of them is just the general anxiety and shit, 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 shit. But also the moon. <laughs> okay, that's why. That's why I can't sleep. I don't believe in any of that shit. Like astrology stuff, I don't give a fuck. I mean, astrology to, in my, it's more real than like, God, no offense, but like. At least we can like look up and be like, oh, Oh, I thought I would just show you what I got quickly before I go to bed because it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm I'm beat. Oh, also, I got my my Alice in Pages merch. Hello. Hello. This is the first time I ever got merch. This shit is just cute as fuck. Like, I love the design and the quality. I am shocked. <gasps> Not because like like I, I knew she would do it right. But when I think of merch, I think of like, okay, it's like it's like going to be like printed on like a gildan Sure. But this is so soft. The quality is incredible. Um, I am passing away. I went to one store. I was planning on going to more stores, but I didn't have the time. And I also was just feeling sick all day because I haven't been sleeping. I was up until four last night. I got home and I was like, holy fuck, I can't believe I've been... That's why everyone's been looking at me so weird today. Because I look like I have like a terminal illness. Um... Also, I think everyone just wanted to fuck me, you know, honestly. But I went to this vintage store that I haven't been to in a very long time, and I was in there for maybe like an hour and a half, and I only got four things. I've realized recently I don't have a whole lot of clothing for winter. So I went in there and I was like, okay, I want to get jacket, maybe like a hoodie, sweater, shoes, ni f nice pair of boots, I don't know. The only thing that I did not want to get, the only thing that I do not need is more pants. So naturally, I got two pairs of pants, and I didn't find a jacket. I've only tried on one of these things, so I think I'm gonna try them on right now. I tried on these black jeans. I don't have black jeans. I've got a ton of jeans. I've got a ton of pants, as I said. But I don't have a pair of black jeans, and these fit me like a glove. Okay. And then I also found these green Carhartt. I'm glad, I'm glad I got these. I'm glad I found these. Yeah, they're fine. Oh! And then I just got this random little t-shirt. It's just, whatever. It's got these dragons on it playing guitar. I think that's fun. I'm farting. Oh, okay, well it's way too big, so that's cool. Maybe I'll crop it. Maybe I'll turn it into like a tank. It's whatever, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> And then lastly, I got this little jumper. I think that's what they call it in Britain, the UK. I don't know what to call it. Sweater? <laughs> what I will say about it is it's like... What? Like, I could have just got this at Walmart. Brand new, very soft, pristine. But instead I got this scratchy, very thin. <laughs> Plus, it makes me... It's like a, it doesn't go well with my skin, does it? 
Bye. See you tomorrow. Hey, Dad. Well, I'm not actually happy to be here. Thank God I haven't had my heart broken very many times. Really? Almost none. What's the secret? I'm cute. Damn, that sounded like fucking Caroline Polachek. <sighs> so I'm switching to Spotify this year, I've decided. Because I got the new iPhone a couple of weeks ago. I got the iPhone 15 Pro? 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 Yeah? <laughs> My overall review of it, if you're curious... The only reason I got it is because I just needed more storage. My old iPhone only had like 64 gigabytes. It was an iPhone 12? And because I film on my phone a lot, I needed more storage. But like, why? They just need to cut it out. Apple needs to stop. They need to chill. They do not need a new phone every year. Literally all that I can tell that they changed, they changed it to USB-C on the bottom, which like fucks everything up. Like it fucked my, I, it took me fucking up until just recently to figure out my core situation. I was charging it from my MacBook. And they also, instead of having this be like a flick, like a, it's a button now. But the second I got it, I noticed a major difference in my AirPods. Like these, the AirPods, whatever. Look, in case they ever go missing or like I lose them. Can you read that? Can you read that? Can you read that? It says cool, sexy, hot boy. Because if ever I lose these and someone picks them up and goes, oh my God, I'm a good person. So I'm going to find whoever lost these. They'll be like, oh, they're, they're cool, sexy, hot boy. And then they'll look around and be like, oh, they're his. And these as well. I noticed that they, the, the sound, it was like half volume. I would put them on full, full volume and it was so quiet and the sound just sounded so different and it genuinely fucked up my entire fucking life because I love music. <laughs> and I listen to music a lot. Actually my, not my Spotify rap, like my Apple music rap. I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. So that I listened to 75,000 minutes of music this year and I've been seeing other people's music things and it'll be like 30,000 and I'm like, that doesn't, okay, cool. That's cool though that I had that, that I'm like a fucking beast. Like, my top, <laughs> if you were curious, I don't know how the fuck this happened. I do, but my top, let me just put it up. I don't know. I saw that and I said, how the fuck? Cause I would not consider myself to be a Swifty. And I saw that and I was like, there's gotta be like other people that I've listened to more. But then I, then I took a second and I was like, no, I've listened to a lot of Taylor Swift this year. And then my most listened to song is that Crazy in Love live version. Such, so fucking good. The reason why that it, it's that is because I, I start every single run by listening to that because it just hypes me up. Like the crowd, I, I like, I, I feel like the crowd is cheering for me and the beginning is so dramatic, but that shit, ugh. That shit is not on fucking Spotify. Um, I have no fucking clue how Spotify works. I have no clue how to delete or remove music from like my library or add music to my library. I'm trying to figure it out, but I did go on a run a little while ago and I got so fucking frustrated and I thought, well, maybe I can try Spotify and maybe that'll fix the situation. It did. My AirPods were loud again. And I feel like Apple did that because they were like, we're gonna protect, we're, we're gonna avoid some lawsuits. Cause I do think in like 50 years, when we're all 70 and can't hear shit. And we're gonna say, well, the reason why we're fucking deaf is because we were playing music way too loud. Apple, Spotify, whatever the fuck, why did you let us do that? You shouldn't have let the music go that high because I'm going to destroy my ears. And then Apple Music's gonna be like, well, actually, our volume, it, you, you, could you could actually barely hear it. And then Spotify's gonna go, did I do that? Oops. Sorry. And then everyone who used Spotify and destroyed their ears are gonna get money. Whereas right. people who use Apple Music, they're gonna be like, well, actually, you can barely hear our music. <laughs> but yeah, moral of the story is I'm switching to Spotify. But yeah, it's a new day. It's Friday and it is currently two, almost two o'clock. I gotta go. I I'm going shopping. We're going shopping again, bitch. I feel great though. Do you wanna see my outfit? I feel like I got the fucking zoomies, bitch. So here's my OOTD. 
So I just got obviously Kong Hearts and I had this like waffle, just like very blank waffle knit black long sleeve. This fantastic beanie that I'm a big fan of. And then I paired everything with this these boots, these uh, black leather boots with these red laces. I always say, you can never go wrong with a pop of red. Everything needs a pop of red. <laughs> so yeah, that's the outfit. I bet I'll find better stuff here than I did at that thrift store. I mean, vintage store. Oh God, these boots are hurting my toes. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I know, I know, I'm so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to go pick up my food soon. Hi, would I be able to make an order? Could I please grab a, a miso soup, kapamaki, a tuna maki, as well as a salmon maki? I got home yesterday and uh, finished reading Song of Solomon, and then today I've just been editing this video. But if you want to know my full thoughts on this, I'll have a video on my Patreon. But just to give some quick thoughts... <laughs> definitely a new favorite. Like, I will reread this one day. I need to. But, at the thrift store, I found this cashmere, like, maroon burgundy sweater that... I'm a big, I'm a big fan of this. I love this. And then I also got this like, I think it's like a wool, green and black long sleeve. I love like the, the, it feels great, but also just like the way, like the stitching. And then the most exciting stuff, in my opinion, I got a lot of fucking books. I did end up finding a new copy of Anna Karenina. This is beautiful, obviously. That bookstore I went to always has like the best editions of classics. Everybody always asks me where I got my copies of Crime and Punishment, as well as the picture of Dorian Gray. I got them at that used bookstore. I also picked up Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Blake Crouch is an author I've been wanting to read for a while, and I saw this on somebody's staff picks. So I just grabbed it. I think it's like sci-fi, mystery, mind fuck. I don't know. Then I also grabbed Walden and Civil Disobedience by De De Henry David Thoreau. Is that his name? I got I got a memory like fucking dolphin. Don't they don't wait dolphins have good memories? It's wait elephants. I think Henry David Thoreau is like a very famous uh, author and maybe like a poet. Walden I've heard of a ton and honestly I'm not gonna lie I thought that Walden was an author but I believe it's very nature-based and talking about trees a lot which as you know I love. Then I also picked up No Longer Human by Osamu Desai, which is a book I've heard a ton of great things about. Then I grabbed The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion, which this, I believe, is really about the loss of her husband, as well as maybe her, her daughter as well. I think this one focuses more on her husband, though. I read Blue Nights by her, which was really focusing on dealing with the grief and the loss of her daughter. And then I think it wasn't long after her daughter died that her husband died. And it's a book that I, I feel like I should be locked up that I have not read this one yet. And then I also picked up The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, which I'm, I, I'm definitely on a, like a major Toni Morrison kick. And this is about a young black girl who prays every day for beauty. And then I also picked up Notes from Underground by Dostoevsky, which is a book that I feel like I've read, but I don't own. I think it's short stories. And I think I listened to maybe one of them on audiobook. But it's a short one, it's only like 130 pages. And then lastly, I picked up this beautiful copy of War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. It's so like simple, but I feel like the way that everything's like put together and the images are like... <laughs> and then the text is... <laughs> I don't know, I just really like it. Although obviously this... <laughs> it's almost 1400 pages. We'll see if I'm able to complete it by the end of the year. That's my goal, but honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish Anna Karenina. <laughs> yeah, those are the books and everything that I got yesterday. I think I've, I've decided, I think, hmm. 
don't <laughs> mind you my depressive episodes hit like out of nowhere so don't hold me to anything but i think i want to do like vlogmas which I guess I gotta... Uh, so a few months ago in summer, I came up with this idea called vlogging. There should be a word for that, like maybe like a portmanteau of like, like a blog, but in like video form. Blitty... Blittio or blitty... Vlog? Vlogging? Vlog? And I came up with that this summer, I've done it a couple times. I've seen a few people doing it and not giving me credit, which is like fine, it's, it's whatever, but like just I did invent vlogging i did invent that term but but vlog moss is a portmanteau of a portmanteau within a portmanteau and <laughs> and it's video blogging christmas so this month the month of december the christmas month i want to be pumping out some vlogs honestly i just kind of feel lazy and these are just fun and easy but the main thing is that it forces me out the house and i just kind of feel like i need to recharge i have a lot of really big fun ideas for 2024 i am coming into 2024 Hot. Actually, no. I'm coming in cold. What I've learned is that whenever I say like, this is gonna be my year, or like, this is gonna be the best summer ever, it's always the opposite. So I'm going into 2024 saying it's gonna be the worst year of my life. It's gonna be full of darkness and pain and a lot of suffering on my part. So I'm really excited for 2024. I don't have any other social media right now. I've deleted my Instagram. You can go follow it, but I am not gonna be on there. I've, I've decided as well in 2024, I'm gonna get on my Instagram baddie shit, but at the moment, I'm recharging over there. Like, I'm gonna become, I'm gonna go full lip injections, BBL, b bigger boobs, if you can believe that, <laughs> and go full bad bitch on IG. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog. If it is a vlog. <laughs>